name is Richard Mallander. I'm a councillor on Rushcliffe Borough Council uh, up in Nottinghamshire. And uh, I really do agree with some of the things that have been said so far. I, I do feel that the, the deputy leader role is one that needs to develop more than it has done. I don't think, I think Avery has done a really good job, um, but I don't think any of us see the role as being someone to stand behind a little glass window with a little hammer outside saying, in case of emergency, break here. <laughs> Um, what it has to be, I think, is, is inward and out facing. It has to be out there supporting the leader, helping them, yes, standing in when they can't be there, doing all that kind of thing as well. But it also has to be inward looking as well. And I do think that it does have a role in going around and talking to and working with local parties up and down the country. There's lots of different parties and loads of different <coughs> situations around the country, and I really do think that we have to sort of help them to develop. We've got a kind of an overall strategy. We know where we want to go in terms of getting more people elected, using Target to win. But that, that varies a lot in how it's applied around the country. And there are lots of different ways and lots of different parties in different kinds of situations. There are people in rural areas, there are people in cities, towns, whatever. Um, I was a councillor in Brighton. It's a city. The Greens are doing really, really well there. Labour are down a bit. The Lib Dems have disappeared off the scale. Yes. In the old office in Brighton, you won't notice, in the old office in Brighton, uh, before they moved to the place by the station, there was a, um, uh, one filing cabinet, because they only had one filing cabinet there. And if you, if you went through, and there, there was one little binder that just said, the enemy, and you, you looked in it, there was that one bit of paper with Lib Dems written on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's still there, it's probably no. But what I think is that we, we have to sort of, you know, help every local party to develop and build that kind of strategy so that we can put our policies forward. And we really have to do that because the people have said we're having tremendous problems with the austerity and the budget cutbacks that are happening up and down the country. And we know it's not just Labour and we know it's not just the Tories. They all are sort of so happily into this agenda that you wouldn't believe it. If you go to Nottinghamshire County Council, the leader there of the Tories, her name is Kay Cups. More appropriate name you'd never come across for a local authority leader. She was even told by Eric Pickles that they were going too far in their cuts in social services. But I work for Nottingham City Council, just over the border. And there again, we're finding huge, huge cuts being made, particularly in things like um, childcare and social services for the deprived areas of the city. And I know that's happening up and down the country. So you get the situation where funds are being pulled back and then to put out to the charitable sector or the private sector, or if you find the situation, the religious sector. Now, some people may be of the religious better themselves, and, but I do feel it's problems. It, it is a real problem when you find a local authority say, we will hand over the running of playgroups, of um, social care, to religious groups. What happens? How is that bringing society together? It's not. It's making it very divisive. What happens if you have an area that is very strong, uh, very strong Muslim, or another area that is very strong Christian? One area that is very, very populated by mainly Asian, other people white. It makes it for a very, very divisive society. You're all building in another layer where people are, have reasons to, to differ from each other rather than all work together. So what I think we should do is work together as a party. There are a lot of things we can do, a lot of constructive things we can do. We really have to fight against the cuts that are being put forward and we do have our own agenda to put forward um, up and down the country. And as deputy leader, I would like the opportunity to help you do that. Thank you.